All right, I'd like to welcome everyone. Thank you for attending today. I'd like to acknowledge uh, distinguished guests, um, Monica Kelsey, founder and CEO of Safe Haven Baby Box, Mayor Ted Denton, Congresswoman Jackie Gorski, Father Kaiser. Thank you all for being here. I'd also like to recognize the Knights of Columbus. This baby box is a vision of their hard work. What a great gift to our community right before Christmas. At this time, I would like all the Knights to please stand and be recognized. I'd also like to thank the members of the Rochester Fire Department for accepting the responsibility that comes with hosting the baby box here at the fire station, as well as our partners, Luther and EMS. With any project, there is a need for financial backing. I'd like to recognize the Northern Indiana Community Foundation, REMC, North Central Indiana Right to Life, Hope Community Church, Rochester Glass, St. Joseph Church Altar and Rosary Society, the Zollinger family, and all those who made private uh, donations. Thank you for supporting the Knights of Columbus in this effort. In closing, I was searching for something to say to reflect uh, on this moment. So by thinking about the baby box in Christmas, I found this. Each of us is an innkeeper that decides if we have room for Jesus. Today, our community has decided we have room for one of his children. So thank you. At this time, Monica, CEO, founder, Safe Haven Baby Box. What a good day to be from Rochester, Indiana today. This is exciting. It's the 91st box in the nation. This is the 91st box in the nation. Uh, and what does that mean? That means I've got a lot of work to do to get in all of these states across the country, but I'm so excited to finally launch here in Rochester. This has been something that's been talked about for months and months, and it's finally coming to fruition because of the Knights of Columbus's hard work. The Knights of Columbus have literally had their hand on some aspect of all 91 boxes, whether it be putting a sidewalk in, paying for a billboard in the community, paying for the box itself or the installation. The Knights of Columbus have been and continue to be our biggest supporter. And I wanna thank you guys personally um, for walking alongside us for the last five years and, and helping us with 91 boxes in the nation. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. I am the founder and current CEO of Safe Haven Baby Boxes. We're the only organization in America today that is literally saving babies in boxes at fire stations and hospitals. Um, we launched in uh, April of 2016 at my firehouse in Woodburn, Indiana. Um, my husband's the mayor, so it was pretty easy to talk him into launching at his uh, firehouse if he wanted to come home and sleep with his wife at night. Um, so uh, we do have a camper now in case I come back with any crazy ideas um, so that he has a place to sleep at night if he tells me now. Um, but we did launch in, in Woodburn in Indiana in 2016, and uh, uh, we launched another baby box two days later. First baby came 18 months later. Second baby came five months later. Uh, and now we've had 13 babies in our boxes since November of 2017. The great thing about this is that we haven't had a dead baby in the state of Indiana from abandonment since we launched baby boxes. And that was... In 2016 alone, we had six babies in our boxes in the state of Indiana. This year for 2021, our phone calls on our national safe haven hotline are up 47 percent 47 percent more calls this year than last year so the need is growing um, tell you why i'm so passionate about safe haven baby boxes i literally have to take you back a few years to april of uh, or to august of 1972 when a young 17 year old girl was brutally attacked and raped and left along the side of the road and this of course was in august of 72 when abortion was illegal in our country um, she pressed charges against a man who had raped her. He was arrested. He was charged. And if that wasn't the worst of it, six weeks later, she finds out she's pregnant. She was hidden for the remainder of the pregnancy. She gave birth in April of 1973 and abandoned her child uh, two hours after that child was born and that child was me. So today I stand on the front lines of this movement, ensuring that women have another option that my birth mother did not have back in 1973. Uh, I was blessed to have been adopted by two amazing parents that literally told me I could do anything, and, and now today, 
as of Sunday, my staff's going to laugh at me for saying this, but I was quoted in the New Yorker as being the baby box lady of America. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, this definitely would not be um, uh, able to happen without the community coming together and the mayor of the city uh, allowing for uh, a box to be you know, put in his $7.3 million firehouse. <laughs> um, so I would like to uh, invite up Mayor Denton to say a few words. Thank you. This is uh, Red Letter Day. <coughs> Not only our firehouse, our fire department, but all, all of Rochester, as Monica has so graciously pointed out. Uh, what a story, you know. She's a, she's a saved baby right here. Uh, we pray it never has to be used. But in reality, we know that may not be the case. And it's nice to know that we do have this available and we will be advertising that fact so that if there are desperate people out there who want to give up a baby and not be known, there is an avenue to pursue. Thank goodness, I don't remember of ever having a case yet in this community. Doesn't mean there wasn't one I did not know about. And uh, I don't, do we have anybody from child services here? Today, I know they were invited, could not, okay, could not make it. But uh, the fact is, this does go on, and uh, we haven't had any dead babies since the implementation of this. That that's just wonderful. I had some thoughts about today and this particular time. Tom, you touched on it a little bit. We gather at this time of the year to uh, acknowledge and honor our Savior, a baby born in a manger. Well, how close to a manger could this box be? Very, very close. And how ironic that we gather four days before Christmas to launch this and honor this program. I'm honored to be part of it. Uh, I thank Monica. I thank Tom. I thank Ike and the Knights of Columbus. Look around, I, you know, I'm a Knights of Columbus. Wouldn't it be great to have this many people at a meeting? <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you all who had any, any hand in this at all. I thank the press for being here, for getting the word out. I thank you all. And uh, I think the only thing now for me to do is to wish everyone Merry Christmas and introduce Congresswoman Jackie Orlorski, who, by the way, I tell everyone, and nobody's questioned me yet, she hasn't uh, disacknowledged it, I tell everyone she's my cousin. <laughs> cousin Jackie? This is no joke. A couple weeks ago, I have a, I have a new scheduler in D.C., and so she, when uh, the mayor called, she said to me, came in my office later, she goes, are you a cousin to that mayor in Rochester? <laughs> I was like, we're all related so much. But you know what? I, thank you so much for the invitation to be here. I cannot think of a better place to be today with a couple days before Christmas. David, it's good to see you here. Monica, it's good to see you again as well. You know, it's, it's great Americans that solve most of our problems in America. You know, it's individual people that have a passion to do something great, and they do it. And they just keep moving, and they keep seeing, and they keep doing. And that's what Monica has been to the state of Indiana, to our country, but especially to our district here and our local communities, to have a passion to make sure there's a place to go. And you know what? I walked in here, and I saw this, and I thought, how cool is it? The reason I think it, this is so cool to be able to stand in here and look at this is because if anybody has a doubt in this country or in this community that the spirit of life is alive and well and taking over this country of ours, here is proof positive that we will do anything, whatever it takes, to save a child in a vulnerable position worth nowhere else to go. And when I hear her story about the places that she's been and how many of these babies have been deposited since 2016, how many people are walking around passionate? They're going to grow up to be passionate adults. And who knows what those 
babies that were left in these around the country and around our state are going to do when they grow up and be like Monica. Just imagine the solutions and the great things that are going to come and the spirit of life that unites us in this country. And so I am thrilled to be here today, thrilled for the passion of what Monica has. Thank you to the uh, fire chief, to the mayor, um, to all of you that made this happen. There is nothing more important in, in my world the way we're looking at it. This has been a tough year. This has been a tough year for everybody. You know what, and we're coming into Christmas and we're coming in to you know, continue tough times, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna be resilient. We're gonna have, a, I believe, a great 2022. And what a way to kick it off in this community than to say, it doesn't matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter how dark things have gotten. Our future is better than our past. And what a symbolic thing to be able to gather around and bless and pray for God's anointing on than a place for a brand new young life that comes into this world. So I'm just thrilled and want to thank all of you in this community for, for doing this and how important it is. I think the symbolism of life is one of the most important things that we can do as a community <coughs> to set ourselves apart. That a lot of people can believe a lot of things that they want. And tough times, you know, happen in places. But not for us in Rochester and Fulton County. We are staking our future on life in life abundantly so thanks so much for allowing me to come down god bless you guys and monica god continue to bless you as well thank you thank you congresswoman um it is now uh the man of the hour's turn uh the time we've all been waiting for is for father andrew to come up and bless this box and uh let's let's put this in motion so uh, everybody welcome father andrew just want to thank the mayor for what he said about the comparison. Um, I think that's very appropriate that, um, at the, we're doing it at this time of year when um, Jesus at this time of year would have been in the womb of his mother, right? An unwed mother who uh, accepted her pregnancy under very difficult circumstances, right? And she wasn't married and, and probably wasn't sure what was going to happen at the time when she said yes to God's will for her and her life, but, uh, but that's what she did. And so I wanted to offer a, a, a prayer to the Holy Spirit this morning, but also because uh, it's the time that our Redeemer was in the womb um, at this time of year, we'll offer a prayer to our Redeemer in the womb as well, and then I'll bless the box, and, uh, and that'll be it, all right? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Holy Spirit, at the dawn of creation, you brought order out of chaos, light out of darkness, life out of nothingness. Breathe on us once again and change this culture of death into a culture of life. Inspire your peop and your people a spirit of generous welcome for each and every life, no matter how unexpected or dependent that life may be. Holy Spirit, you are the advocate. As you fill your us with yourself, make us advocates for the unborn and all the vulnerable until we are all united in the endless life of joy of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now the prayer to our Redeemer in the womb. Lord Jesus Christ, you took our human nature upon yourself. You shared our life and death, our childhood and adulthood. You also shared our time in the womb. While still God, we worshiped and adored by the, while, while still God, while worshiped and adored by the angels, while almighty and filling every part of the universe, you dwelt for nine months in the womb of Mary. You were our Redeemer in the womb our God who was a preborn child. Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless and protect the children who today are in their mother's wombs. Save them from the danger of abortion. Give their mothers the grace to sacrifice themselves in body and soul for their children. Help all people to recognize in the preborn child a brother, a sister, saved by you, our Redeemer in the womb. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless this baby box and all those who use it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Thank you about that. <coughs> Rochester, Indiana will forever be known of home of Safe Haven Baby Box number 91 in the nation. Uh, this box offers no shame, no blame, and no names. God bless you guys. Thank you guys all for coming. Um, feel free to come up, take a look. We're going to go outside, <coughs> unlock the outside door, and make this box available for women in this community and the surrounding communities. So God bless you guys. Thank you all so much for coming. <laughs>